Hey guys, it's Gary here again with another video. Um, this time I'm just doing a response, a video response back to CJR. A, a couple weeks ago, he uh, was talking about you know where he kind of feels where he fits in as a reseller or a game collector, um, and it seems like it's something that he's really struggled with. I mean, obviously he talks about it in a lot of videos, and yeah, <laughs> and uh, you know it, especially since he made his first vlog about it, so. It's something that I've struggled with as well, and I was going to leave him a long comment kind of talking about it, but I figured it'd just be easier to do a, a video response. So basically, I mean, the way I feel about it, you know, guys like us, we do spend a lot of money on our game collections. I mean, we pretty much deal in volume, so we try to get as much as we possibly can for as cheap as possible just because we're trying to amass as large of a collection as possible. And when I first started doing this, you know, I told myself... I'm not going to be a reseller. I'm just going to buy what I need. I'm not going to buy stuff that I get doubles of. I'm not going to sell. I'm not going to be one of those people because when I initially started, I kind of looked at them as, quite frankly, a bunch of scumbags, You know, especially the ones that hike the prices up really, really high to take advantage of, of people who don't know any better. So, when I, you know, like I said, when I started, that was my initial intention, but I've learned a couple things as I've, as I've done this more and more. Um, first of all, a lot of people, when they're selling their collection or they're selling everything they have, a lot of times they don't want to part it out. So they're going to sell the whole thing as one big lot. They're, they don't want to piece it out bit by bit. Some people will, but it's very rare. So what you end up having to do is buy a whole lot of stuff for as good as a deal as you possibly can. And eventually, you're just you're gonna, the more stuff you collect, the more doubles you're going to have. So the likelihood of you getting more and more doubles is just going to keep going up significantly every time. And you don't want to, I mean, it's just kind of stupid to hold on to all those doubles because I thought about doing that for a while, but, you know, if that was the case, I'd have like 40 Mario Duck Hunts, I'd have, like, you know, 15 Mario Sunshines, it, it would just look kind of stupid, it would take up a lot of room and I don't I don't have the space for it now, so. Um, and the other thing is, that you learn very quickly, is it gets very expensive very fast. Um, you know, depending, even on garage sales where you're going to get them for a good deal, it's still going to rack up. Every week, you know, you'll spend between 20 to over $100, and a lot of us, that's that's hard to do. You know, we, we're, we're, most of us aren't rich, we're not, we don't make over six figures a year, so we got to make our money last. And it really does help to resell what you have doubles of to kind of help fund your collection. So, um... Those are the things I've learned, and my my philosophy on it has, has definitely laxed because of that. So, I have you know started selling stuff. I try to sell them locally, but I've noticed here in the town I live in, people are so cheap. I, I tried. I was trying to sell stuff about half of what it goes for on price charting and eBay. You know what they actually sell for, not what they go for. And even at listing them at half of what they sell for, people were still trying to talk me down, which I understand. You know, because I do the same thing. If I see a good deal, sometimes I'll try to talk them down. But I feel like I'm already doing such a great price. There's there's really no need to go down anymore. So it really it ended up just pissing me off more than anything. So I started going to eBay, and I've had to kind of up the price a little bit since eBay and PayPal they take about 15%. I say, um, and then I also offer free shipping. So you got to include that in there. So it, it just it does. It makes me feel like crap. You know, I feel like kind of a hypocrite since I talked crap on the, all these people before and now I'm doing it but you know it's just kind of the nature of the game unless you want to have a wall full of doubles and you know have a very set budget every month you're not going to be able to buy very many games you'll miss out on a lot it's just it's really the only way to to keep funding the collection and keep it going so it you know it's it's like I said it's something he struggles with I know I do all the time it is it, it, every time I sell something on eBay I do I feel like crap about it for some reason but it's just kind of a na the nature of the beast. So that's really all I wanted to say about that. Um, that's really all I have today, guys. I'm going to do a couple more videos today. Um, the next one I'm going to do, I'm going to do a Let's Play video. I'm going to try to do get kind of crazy with it, get into costume and have fun with it, have my daughter kind of do a role in it and stuff. It'll be fun. <laughs> um, and then I'm also going to clear up this little area over here so I can do... Finally, my little Final Fantasy shrine. Just kind of show you guys what I have, tell you where I got it. You know, if I can remember what I paid for it, I'll try to throw that in there. So uh, definitely stay tuned. I'm, I'm looking very much forward to do, doing these videos. And thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it.